Oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm over the blowers. This is my neighbor Dan's Toro Recycler 7.25 Briggs engine, personal pace. Really good machine. Uh, he does need to clean out his chute once in a while. Anyway, he brought it over to me because his lawn tractor, which we went to Nick from Bellport's house to buy for him. So I'm over here at Nick from Bellport's house. I'm with my neighbor, Dan. So, as you guys saw, we uh, Nick sold uh, my buddy Dan the uh, tractor. I haven't used the trailer in a long time. It's just taking up space. So, uh, I'm selling the trailer to Dan. Right, Dan? Love it. because he probably left the key in the on position whatever overnight and it battery's dead so I gave him a jumper and he got it started blah 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 and he says while I'm doing all that I'm gonna bring you my mower because he says that his front self propulsion or rear self propulsion doesn't work so when he brought it over it was obvious what was the problem as you can see right there on the cable right there it's not attached to anything. This cable broke. So we just need to install a cable and uh, give it back to him again. Anyway, he says it runs well and it just, the propulsion doesn't work. It's the only reason why he brought it to me. He says it runs and starts. Let's go. <laughs> It's a little uh, off on the setting here, but it is the same one. And this one is on the third one. And this one is on the... Oh, so this is off. Now it's loaded. So he's got gas in it. And I guarantee you, he never changed the oil. Ooh, it actually looks okay. So we're just gonna remove this cable. And I said I was gonna go uh, buy him a new cable, but I might have one that fits, so. 
You know, I don't want him to spend any money if he doesn't have to. You know, he's a good neighbor. What's kind of confusing to me, though, is when he brought it over, that bagger that was on here was filled with wet grass, right? This thing was completely clogged. The, uh, this was down. This is the mulch plug. That's now blocked in case you wanted to just mulch. And that's for if you wanted a bag, which it was set on, right? But then why do you have the deflector? Because now the now the grass is going to come out the side and you're not bagging. I'm just a little confused. Anyway, we're going to try to remove the uh, cable, the broken cable. It's kind of a pain in the balls to get the, the bottom. I got to flip this to its side, this side, the side of the dipstick. So it won't drip out any uh, oil leaking into the carburetor to protect the driveway. <laughs> Not that the driveway is immaculate, but I want to prevent any spills if necessary. And then on the other side, I'll be able to see. Swooping down on the underbelly. Lots of uh, excess grass that's been wet and all that. And this is the area where we need to go to disconnect the cable. So there's the hook to the cable right there. You see the hook? Spring hook. So we have to disconnect that somehow and get the cable out. It's a pain. saw from time lapse I got this out probably could have taken it out easier but I don't know uh, I could have just cut it <laughs> but I wanted to take it out the regular way by pinching these two things which it didn't happen anyway I had, to, I had to force it anyway so this is it right here as you can see it's missing that part there and you can pull this right out and as you can see it's been rusted probably around here and it just broke so fortunately, I looked in my box of parts, and I have the exact one. See the length? It's exactly the one. So I just uh, oiled it, and it's nice and smooth. And we'll just uh, put this through this side. I'll show you how it goes. Here's a close-up of the hole that it goes into. It goes into this hole, the big hole, it fits. You know, while it's there, see these two uh, push-in tabs? And you just, this channel, the wire goes through that channel to the smaller hole, and you just push it in. That's it. Over here, this side, this thing leads through this channel, and this here. Tighten this later when we do some adjusting. Okay. Now I'll take you to the bottom and hook the spring. There's the hole we want to hook it onto. There we go. Pull it out. Now we'll take this and we'll secure it to this right here, Z-Bend. Now we'll do some adjusting. Thing back up again. 
and then you want to just test and see if you push this down is it stretching the cable it's not so we need to pull this out some more like around there then if you push down it pulls on the rope so we put it to like we'll just pull it until it's like snug you know what i mean like not tight tight but snug and we'll just tighten this and that'll clamp down on that uh, cable and hold it in that area and now when you push down on it it should engage the propulsion So let's give it a try now. That didn't take very long at all. Okay, so let's see if it starts up and, well, we know it starts up, right? Hopefully, let's see if the propulsion works. If you know what you're doing, now you know what you're doing. You guys ever have that problem? Now you got a video to show you exactly how to change it. So since I got that fixed so fast, I wanted to check this out again. It bothered me that it didn't run really smooth. And it was kind of hard to start. And I never checked the spark plug. And also I had an issue with the O-ring where the carburetor connected onto the intake. It's kind of loose, you know, and if you don't have a good seal there between the carburetor and the block, it's going to have too much air vacuum that goes in there and it's not going to run right. So I'm going to take off the spark plug and check it, maybe foul with all kinds of oil or something on it. I'll show you what it sounds like right now. It takes about three or four times to start. Okay, so Dan came by, he's going to come pick up the mower later, he's very thankful that it's fixed. changed the spark plug uh, when I took out the spark plug it almost seemed like it was tough to turn and also it was wobbly as you turned it like like the spark plug was bent or something but then when I put another spark plug in there it was fine <laughs> uh, this is excess oil that's burning and also the paint that I use to paint the uh, muffler guard it's not really supposed to be for heat applications you know so it's kind of burning off a little um also i checked out the carburetor too this plastic carburetor from briggs 
It has a white plastic O-ring over a rubber black O-ring. The white O-ring wasn't even attached to the carburetor. But when you put it on, it's still there. It's just, it wasn't a tight seal. So the black rubber one goes inside clipped on with a plastic white one that's supposed to be inside the mouth of that, uh, the output of the intake, right? And then mounted onto the intake. It was loose, basically. When I pulled the carburetor off, it just dropped right out. So I had to snap it in there, you know? So I think that created a better seal, therefore it runs better. I wanna think though, still, that it might be the magneto problem because it looks pretty shitty. <laughs> It's really rusty and stuff. And if you're not getting a good magneto spark, could contribute to it running rough or not starting easily, not getting a strong spark, you know? So while it does start and run okay, albeit ass gas in there, the old gas, uh, of course, when I would show this to somebody, I would add some fresh gas and dilute it and make it run a little bit better. But I almost feel like I wanna try a new magneto. Is that overkill? Are you ready? If this starts on the first pull, I won't do anything. But if it takes more than one pull to start this thing, then I'll go see about if I have another Magneto. Let's see. <laughs> the fate of the new owner relies on this pull. do it it's fixed so two lawnmower fixes for the day I feel pretty good this thing's now ready to sell runs much better than before changed my uh, neighbor Dan's drive cable look at his split so easy to do I hope that I showed exactly how to do it I've never done a uh, close-up step-by-step before on that drive Table. So hopefully it helps somebody. Well, can you believe it? Right after I mowed the lawn, I go inside, I look at my phone, it's like uh, 17 messages about that mower. <laughs> so I have it listed for 150. Uh, finally, one guy did say out of the 15 that he'd like to meet me and come get it. So we're gonna go and load this up into Sketchy and see if we can sell it and meet him at the church. Seems to be quite a lot of interest in it. So I'm just gonna keep it out here, whether I sell it to this guy or not, I'm pretty confident that I'll sell it pretty soon. So no need to store it in that shed. We'll add some fresh gas in here, just a little bit. And test it out. Should start on the first pull now. Or second pull now. <laughs> or third pull. Nice. Rained a lot last night. After a while, my tonneau cover starts to sag a little bit you know, from the flexibility due to the heat from the sun in the summer. And now I've got like this pool there. And every time it rains, a lot of water comes out. And I usually flood the bed if, I, if it's too much water. But today it looks like it might be okay. The joys of owning a pit. Maybe I should have kept the van. <laughs> I mean, I like the pickup, don't get me wrong, but 
I never had any problems with the van. So I'll just keep this in here if I don't sell it. I know I'm gonna sell it soon. Hopefully we'll get 150 and I don't run into some tire kicker Yahoo. Yahoo! Also, I listed these two things that I got from Mickey for uh, $30 for both of them. Everybody basically just wants the Echo though. Actually, should I, should I try to fix this? I'm gonna keep this in my truck in case somebody wants it. Actually, I just tried to pull this. Engine seized. Can't even pull it. This stuff is garbage. So, how about it, huh? Nice guy. Didn't even bargain with me. I let him start it. You know, I says, here you go, it's auto choke. He's like, oh, no prime? I says, first pull, boom. He's like, perfect. Gave me 150 bucks. Fantastic. I love it because <laughs> we just fixed that thing today. I mean, it was sort of fixed before, but he's just touched it, you know, and fixed it, and now 150 bucks richer for free. That's right, free. Good day. Once again, guys, thanks a lot for joining me on this episode. I'm glad I was able to put that clip into this one. It makes it a lot more interesting. We'll see you guys later. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. <laughs>